Hey guys, it's Mara. Um, today I wanted to show you some different blood tubes and what kind of specimens go in them. So first of all, I'll start out with the rainbow. So normally if you come in through the ER, um, just to kind of cover the majority of the tests that a doctor could perform on you, they will do what they call the rainbow. And usually the rainbow is a blue, a purple tube, a gold tube, and a green tube. Now these two are the five mil tubes. Um, usually when we draw, we'll just get all short. It just depends where you're at. Um, and these are the, what are these? Four mil. That's four mil, isn't that one? And this one's a three mil. Because with the blue tubes, you um, have to fill up to the line to get the correct ratio. As you can see, there is some liquid in here, and that's the anticoagulant. That's what makes the blood not clot. And in the purple one, it the, the tube is just sprayed ever so lightly with the EDTA, and that makes it not clot also. Um, the green one is the heparin tube, and those are not supposed to clot, and then the gold one is supposed to clot and it will not have any preservative inside. So, I'll start out with the rainbow tubes um, and explain those. So, the blue top tube, which like I said, has to fill up to the line. There are shorter tubes than this um, that only have to fill up halfway, but usually when you're using a vacutainer, it'll vacuum. It'll pull up the blood the amount it needs to, to that line. Um, the blue tube is normally used for um, coagulation studies like your ProTime or your PTT. Um, that is how fast you're clotting or bleeding. Back in the day they used to do a bleeding time where they literally cut you and see how long it took you to blood. But now we do it the more um, efficient scientific way um, to test for clotting. So there's that. Um, oh, and also we do D-dimers, which that's to test um, the likelihood that you have uh, like a pulmonary embolism or a, some kind of clot internally. So, um, next one, this is the, oh, and the um, preservative in here is sodium citrate. See the little guy right there? Okay, next one is the, the K2 EDTA. So... EDTA, the K2, like potassium. Um, that's how we know if someone pours blood into this purple tube and then goes to pour into a green, some nurses have done that, um, then the potassium levels are going to be way high because this has potassium in it. Um, definitely affect your electrolytes. So this tube is normally used for your CBC, so your um, hemoglobin, your platelets, um, your white blood cell count, your red blood cell count. So that's what's in here. Also, some other tests. Sed rate, so that's how fast your red cells fall. Basically those two. Um, the next one is the gold. So we can do a lot of testing off the gold. A lot of like send out testing to the Mayo Clinic or Quest. Um, usually antigen typing, antibodies like viruses like hep C antibodies, antigens, um, mono, which we do that in-house, but usually off the serum. Uh, we can do pregnancies, a lot of different antigen antibody fields. Um, now at the bottom of this tube is a gel along with this one, and what these are are called gel serum and plasma separators. So the because this clots, that serum, there's no factors left. They're all taken down into the clot, which goes below the gel when you centrifuge it. Um, and then in the green tube, that is plasma. So plasma is actually the same thing that ends up in a purple when you spin it down to the top layer. Um, but these have gels that separate them for you, which is nice. Um, so the green tube, we run most of our chemistries off this one. We also run our troponin off the green versus the gold, just because that's what it's calibrated on, I guess. Um, troponin is heart marker. You can run, um, you know, your liver enzymes, uh, your electrolytes um, off of this, which most of those you can run off the gold also. These are your chemistry tubes. 
This is known as like the hematology tubes and this is the coag tube. So that gets most everything. Now you may have to be redrawn for um, more tubes if they're, you know, prenatal stuff. They always need a couple of golds if they haven't had any workup for different, the whole hepatitis, um, ABC, um, and then also for RPR, which is to detect syphilis, so you don't want to give that to your baby if you'd have that. Um, next thing, this little blue tube, it has, um, you can see some of it sprayed inside there. This has K2 EDTA, so that's like the purple, but these are treated um, for trace element detection, so these are what we use for our lead blood analysis. So if you think someone's been, um, they've ingested some kind of lead, then we check this to find your lead levels, or we draw that for your lead levels. So this is a um, sodium heparin. I think they can put tissues in this to kind of, um, like a blood, say like a nasty, I don't know, bloody something. Um, but mostly we use these ones. They don't have any gel um, for TB testing. So they used to just do TB testing on your actual skin to see if bumps come up. And some places still do that. But this is actually the titer that um, they run off of it. So next thing, um, this is called a, well, this is what we call a cappy. Um, they're also called mini collects, cappy jacks, stuff like that. Um, this is the smaller version of this guy. So say you have a really hard stick um, and you're or on a baby or something, you not you don't get much blood. To get the correct ratio with anticoagulant, it's better off to put it in this little purple guy and you want to fill it to about that line. Now we have the same ones like these, um, like the green for chemistry samples, especially on babies. Uh, if we want to check their belly roof, then we have to do a heel stick, and we will fill up one of these little cappies, um, a green cappy, to check their total belly ribbon or their direct belly ribbon. Next thing is this red. So just like the gold, they're similar um, in that they have serum because there is no preservative in here. There's no gel, so it's just a clot. Um, we use this tube primarily for blood banking. Um, to test the serum for antibodies. Um, also, some certain vitamin Ds, they want the red versus the gold because they think that some of the things they're looking for can get trapped up in the gel. So they want it not with the gel, spin it down, and then you take off the top. And last, wait, not last, second to last, is this yellow guy. Um, this is a ACD Solution B. I don't really know a whole lot about this tube. I did look it up. It's usually for tissues or if something's going to be checked by flow cytometry, so like for cancer cells, um, antigens on the cancer cells. But this isn't very common tube, but this is a yellow tube. Not the gold, not to be confused with the gold. And then these last tubes look like the tiny little purple guys, but they have tubing with it. Um, and I believe these are for the lead blood analysis on children. Um, part of the wellness, uh, well, well child checkup is they check for lead to make sure they're not eating like paint or something like that. And they do these off finger sticks. And so they use this little tubing to go down through the middle um, to make it easier because you can't do a heel stick on, on a kid unless it's a teeny baby. Um, and for these, they are also treated to be lead free, unlike these other other tubes, except for this one. That's the adult version. Um, this one's also treated to not have any lead, so they're pretty much cleared out of lead. So the lead you get is the lead it has. There isn't any contamination. Where these other tubes, they don't really check it for that because that's not what they're for. So anyway, um, I hope this was inf informative. You found it interesting. And um, yeah, there's more tubes out there. These are just some of the basics, um, like the rainbow. That's your normal tubes. You won't really see too much else besides that, um, unless there's some different send out testings that they're trying to diagnostically find out. 
um, more advanced things. So, yep, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will answer them to my best knowledge. But, <laughs> thanks for watching guys. Bye.